All right, so I briefly want to talk about the Saturn and Aquarius transit that we've been in for a couple, about several months at this point. So the interesting thing is we have to understand with Saturn is yes, we talk about harsh lessons and we talk about it being this planet of discipline and structure and that forces us to contend with certain we have to something with the face. Um, Saturn is also a karmic planet, right? And so a lot of times when people talk about their past karma and things like that, a lot of astrologers will also um, in some way rope in uh, Saturn. So what's interesting nowadays, if you pay attention to the news or social media, um, there's a lot of people being exposed. Now this is not new, people have been exposed for the past several years, but what you're noticing now is Saturn being this planet of karma is going to expose people who have harmed the collective. Aquarius energy is not about the individual. It is about the group. It is about society. It is about those together. And so Saturn does, and again, Saturn does many things, but in this particular um, situation, what it's doing is it is exposing people who have harmed others through deceptive practices, through lying, through um, any type of scamming, any type of harm has is going to be dished out by Saturn. Saturn is going to collect. So Saturn isn't creating necessarily hardships all the time. It is also giving out karma. Now, you might have even noticed when Saturn was in Capricorn last year, um, you know, there was a lot of, it was more of the reputation. It was more of the individual. It was more of what did you do? So Saturn in your transit probably was giving you back what you had put into something, um, whether that was a lot and then you start to receive a lot or if there was a particular area in your life where you hadn't really been working towards anything. If you weren't, so when Saturn was in Capricorn, you might have noticed in your life, depending on whatever transit you had going on, but Saturn was giving you um, what you had put into something, right? And for people that were using it positively, you probably received something. People who, if areas of your life that you had been neglecting, that you had not put any planning into, that you had not been tending to in any way, where you had no ambition, where you weren't really giving any type of, you know, um, attention to an area of your life, Saturn may have made that area of your life more difficult because it's trying to show you, listen, especially when we think of Capricorn dealing with, you know, reputation or sometimes um, the ability to climb up financially as well, um, Saturn and Capricorn collected in that way. So again, with karma, um, again, we're not talking about karma just in the, there's so many different philosophies and mindsets about what it looks like. We're talking about the basic definition of you put in this and you're gonna get this back. So as that planet of karma, that's what you're gonna see right now. So whether it's politicians, entertainers, um, YouTubers, social media influencers, whatever. Again, if you pay attention to what's been going on um, in the news or even in social media, you're going to see like a lot of people are being exposed, but not just for being like, you know, them individually doing something wrong. They've done something to the collective. They've done something to a group of people, right? And so that is where you're going to see Saturn start to dish out. Again, what did you give in? So it, it, if you're doing the right thing by people, if you're doing the right thing for the collective, Saturn is probably going to give you some type of, it's going to give you what you have put into it. It's not Jupiter. Jupiter can kind of, you know, give more freely as that generous type of energy. Speaking of Jupiter, Jupiter's in Aquarius as well. Um, but at the time I'm doing this video, Jupiter's going to go in Pisces in May. Um, and then it's going to go back into Aquarius. And so with Jupiter and Saturn both being in the same um, sign Jupiter sheds that light the flashlight right what's going on what do we see because Jupiter is associated with this kind of you know this concept of truth right and the idea that truth gives us freedom and that we have to be free from any type of deception or being kept in the dark so with Saturn and Jupiter working together that's also going to make this even more pronounced and so the only thing to really understand here is like some people have been, you know, um, putting in work in a positive way to help others, to help the collective. Again, Aquarius energy is opposite of Leo. Leo is about more of the shine, the individual, the popularity, the trend, you know, and I'm talking about just the Leo energy. Like that's what Leo energy is, but there's opposites on Aquarius is about the thought process. It's about the humanitarian part. Now, again, it's not the warm, fuzzy type of I'm going to care about everybody. Aquarius is that logical, wait a minute, we might have to sacrifice one of y'all to help everybody else, right? It's that, it is that kind of, I'm going to, um, you know, not preserve just an emotional attachment. We're going to do what's logical. Right. And so you're going to see a lot of people who have diluted the thoughts of other people 
again, remember, this is a logical sign. We're dealing with Aquarius. This is an intellect, right? There's a progression. We can't move forward if people are deceiving people. So what can happen karmically for people, and again, depending on transits in their own chart, it might be more pronounced, is that's where you're going to start to see Saturn come for people. Um, if you've harmed the collective, they're going to call you, you're going to get called out. You know, if in any way, shape or form, you've been trying to deceive a mass of people. Um, and again, this also could be people in the spiritual community. OK, there's a lot of people in the spiritual community who, um, you know, maybe don't always have the best of intentions. Um, you know, um, it, it, it's for some folks, it is a trend. You know, for some people, it's like we've been doing this since we was, a kid. you know, like for some people, it's like we always knew we always sensed something and, you know, um, about the world and about life and we understood the connection to things outside of the physical world right um but some people are new to this and there's nothing wrong with being new to this i'm not judging anyone the problem is when you're new to something and you decide to become an expert on it you know there you know th that's that's where it gets a little iffy for me it's like it's one thing to produce content it's one thing to say you're an expert on something that you just got into right and there are certain spiritual practices that are way more involved that are way more um, traditional or intense or require study, that require mentorship. So you will also probably see some people even in the spiritual community get called out because you do have a lot of people whose um, purpose might not just be to help other people. Um, it might be that they don't have the skills or whatever they're saying they do. And then and that's happened to people. People have gotten called out. That's why And you also have so many people who um, shift in and out of spirituality. They shift in and out. I do believe you could have different phases of spirituality, you know, like I said, like, I, I don't want to go into a tangent about myself, but like, there's been times I took a break off a of tarot um, or something like that, but I still was practicing my intuition. It's still, I still had things coming to me. So it's okay to take a break because it could be spiritual overload. That's possible. But you do have people coming in and out of spirituality because it's, it's a trend for them, you know? And so you might also see people, if anybody, it doesn't matter what they're in, um, who have harmed the collective. You're going to see groups of people saying, yeah, they did that to me too. All right. Now, the whole exposing people thing really started. Um, you start to see some of it um, back when Saturn, when Saturn was in Scorpio, there was a lot of secrets, a lot of secrets building up, right? And kind of people digging underneath. Then you had Saturn going to Sagittarius, which really amped up that as well, this idea of, um, people, people being like seen, you know, people of status, Saturn, status, reputation, being seen for what they were doing. If it was negative, there was a negative light sh shown on that. Then you have Saturn and Capricorn, where you see what I'm saying? It's building up because these are these 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 um the last signs of the zodiac get pretty deep when it comes to bigger picture things. So now we have Saturn and Aquarius. And so now we have Saturn and Aquarius. And so again, you're going to see people come out and especially anything um, also is, is important because you also have technology as a, a focus of this as well. Aquarius. Okay. So Saturn is powerful in Aquarius, the original ruler of Aquarius. Uranus is the modern ruler. So Uranus is where we get like the idea of innovation, this idea of going beyond the limits of what we have been prescribed. And Uranus is about that um, technology, right? You know, and so because of that, you could see people online as well start to get um, people who are big online, but who have been harming the masses, who have been um, not being honest, um, being deceptive. Um, you can see that more happening now. And the other thing with it is, um, you're going is groups. So Aquarius is the group, right? It's not like Saturn and Aries, where it's the individual, right? There's some type of individual independent component of it. Aquarius is the collective. And when you harm the collective, people are going to, uh, me, yeah, you, 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 and you, you. So people are going to be like, if somebody gets exposed nowadays, trust and believe it's more than one person that they've harmed because Saturn is coming and Saturn is going to say, you did not do what you were supposed to do. You didn't do it the right way. <laughs> you didn't do it the way I prescribed this to happen. And that is why Saturn is giving you that karma. All right. Saturn is giving you that whatever you didn't put in to the collective. Saturn is going to dish something out. And for some people, it's going to be positive. It's going to be sweet because you have not been harming anybody. You have not been deceptive. 
You have not been restricting people. You have not been oppressing people. But if in any way, shape, or form you have, you've been restricting people's freedom, or you've been restricting people in general. That's a Saturn. Saturn is going to give whatever it is you put into a situation. So that's all I wanted to say about that. I want to make this kind of kind of quick. Um, and then again, we also have to remember that you have Saturn transiting your own chart as well. So it's also important. I do have a video about um, the rising signs and the Saturn transit. So I will link it below. So if you like the video, please um, like the video and also thank you for watching.